So what went through your head the second you found out you were on the Olympic team for London? Yeah, well, I'm not really like an emotional person, but as soon as we performed our routines at the World Championships, my teammates all got off. Like we hadn't even seen our score yet. We just did like a really good job and they all started crying and they were all hugging each other. And I was just standing there. I was like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> like, yeah, I was excited, but I wasn't emotional. You pretty much figured out you guys had done enough to get through to London at that point. Yeah, I was, I've just always known my whole life, like since I was in the second grade, like I've known that that was like my ultimate goal as I wanted to go to the Olympics. I know you're part of the team in rhythmic gymnastics, but what are the events that you specialize in for solo? Well, there's, for rhythmic gymnastics, we have individuals and we have team sports. So I did individuals for about four or five years and then I switched over to the group event and the group event was the first time we qualified, like any Canadian team has qualified to the Olympics, so it was a big deal. And I think for me, I like doing the team event more because I have like my teammates that support me and I'm, I'm more of a social person and I don't like to be on the floor performing by myself. So I guess it's nice to have You're teammates You're a team player is what they'd say. Yeah. <laughs> How's the latest ankle injury set you back for um, the FIG World Cup in Italy? Well, it, it might, I don't think it'll hold me back or set me back because I've had ankle injuries before and I've had, I've had like, I sprain my ankle frequently. Like if you think gymnastics, it's just something that you deal with, you suck it up, can't complain. Just have a nice black and blue ankle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Any big plans for after the Pan Am Games or is it back to training for Rio? I'm not exactly sure right now if I will be continuing my sport. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking of retiring soon, which sounds weird because I'm not that old. I'm only 19, but basically in our sport of gymnastics, it's like a very young sport. So like 16, seven, I was seven, I just turned 17 when I went to the Olympics. So that was my peak for sure. And it's not that I've gotten worse. It's just my body is, it's taking its toll and I crack a lot. And I, like I said, I have injuries and how cool was it to walk into the stadium and see yeah. all that, like <laughs> Olympic Stadium in London? It was really cool. Is that the cool. highlight of like the highlight of the whole thing, other than competing? Um, so we didn't get to go to the opening ceremonies because we were in Spain training still, but we went to the closing ceremonies, which I think is so much cooler than the opening one. The opening one's basically a bunch of speeches and that type of thing, and whereas the closing one's like a big party. They had like the Spice Girls were there, Ed Sheeran, a bunch of famous bands like One Direction. It was just, all the athletes were crazy. You just imagine like working four years up to like that moment and then you're done. It's just like, everyone was insane. Like I can't even express.